What's up, sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel, and it's time to give you another game preview slash game prediction for the 2023 college football season. And our next game preview slash game prediction will be Week 5's matchup between the Florida Gators and the Kentucky Wildcats. SEC Conference matchup here, an SEC East Division matchup as well this upcoming weekend for week number five of the college football season. Uh, Florida and Kentucky have a lot of history in this rivalry. You know, Florida used to dominate the early years and everything, but it seems like Kentucky now in the later years, they have kind of had Florida's number and everything. So this is a big-time game. It's always usually a low-scoring type game between these two teams. A lot of storylines as well going into this game. Florida's got, you know, of course, um, a transfer quarterback from Wisconsin. You got Graham Mertz, the transfer there from Wisconsin. And then for Kentucky, they got Devin Leary, the transfer from NC State. So both of these teams have transfer quarterbacks and, you know, just both talented rosters on both sides of the football. So, again, you know, Kentucky, they beat Florida last year in the Swamp. Will Florida return the flavor this year? And I think this is a game that really decides who the second-best team in the SEC East is because both of these teams are coming off each SEC wins uh, to start out their 2023 season. Florida defeated Tennessee, and then Kentucky defeated Vanderbilt last week. So that's kind of like the history of this rivalry and also the kind of storylines going into this game. But... You know, we're going to give you a game preview slash prediction on this game. We're also going to give you the stat comparisons for these teams. I've seen the stats of what they have done so far in the first four games of the year. And then, of course, we'll give you the game summary of what time the game will be and what coverage the game will be on and see who the favorite going into this game as well. So let's get right into it here with Florida and Kentucky, uh, our game preview slash game prediction for this game coming up this weekend for week number five of the 2023 college football season. We'll start with the stat comparisons between these two teams. Florida comes into this game with a record of 3-1. and one. Uh, They're averaging about 27.8 points per game this year. So the offense has not been very explosive for Florida, but it's kind of getting better down the stretch, it seems like. Total yards per game, 412.5 yards per total yards this year. So the offense, not very explosive, but it seems like that number is going up higher a little bit these days. You look at the passing yards, 247.8 yards per passing. Uh, Graham Mertz, you know, he hasn't had a terrific season, but it seems like he's getting better down the stretch as a Florida quarterback. Um, I think he's been a lot better than he was at Wisconsin. He's not at the 1,000-yard mark, but he's only thrown one interception this year, so he's been taking care of the football really well for them. You look at the rushing yards for Florida. They're not the best at running the football. They're averaging about 164.8 yards per rushing this year. So, again, this is not the most talented running um, team in the country, but it seems like their running game is really getting better these days as well. you got Trevor Etienne, who's had a – um, who's the leading rusher for this team. He's got two rushing touchdowns this year and 329 yards on the ground. You look at the offensive ranking for Florida, 55th in the country. So this offense, not very explosive and not the most talented offense, but it just seems like they're getting better. And then defensively, 5th in the country. Their defense is very talented. I know a lot of people saying that their defensive ranking is wrong, but I get these on CBS, and it tells me that Florida is ranked 5th in the defensive side of the football. So... And then Kentucky here, their stats, they're coming into this game with a record of 4-0, so they're undefeated here. Uh, they're averaging about 38 points per game, so that offense has been up and down a little bit, but it seems like they're scoring a lot more points than they did last year. You look at the total yards per game, it's not been really good for them, 396.5 per total yards this year. Um, that offense, a number I think is going to go up as we get um, you know, into the rest of the season. You look at the passing yards, 265 yards per passing. Devin Leary, the transfer from NC State. He's thrown for 1,000 yards and nine touchdowns so far this year. This year, But again, he's kind of had, you know, had trouble in the passing game a little bit. He's already thrown five interceptions this year, so he's not really taking care of the football that well. And you look at the rushing yards. This is a Kentucky team that's not really good at running the football like they're used to be. Um, they're averaging about 131.5 yards per rushing this year. But they got some weapons at running back. They got Ray Davis. That's been the big story for them, the transfer from Vanderbilt. Um, he's got 314 yards on the ground and five touchdowns, so he's had a really good season. And you look at the offensive ranking, they're kind of similar to Florida. Not the most, you know, you know, the most talented offense, but it seems like they're a balanced offense. But 
They're 65th in the country on offense, so that's not a really good number there. And then defensively in the rankings, this defense is really good. 21st on defense, they're at least a top 30 defense, and I think both of these defenses are pretty even. And again, you look at the stat comparisons here. Florida has advantage, you know, in the total yards per game, and you know the passing game is better with Devin Larry. But both of these teams, their weaknesses are definitely running the football. I think both of these teams have struggled to run the football this year, but, I mean, that could probably play into a factor in this game this upcoming weekend. Who has the better running team going into this game? And then defensively, both of these teams are just very even on the defensive side of the football. So those are the stat comparisons here between these two teams. Let's get to the game summary now. This game will be at noon Eastern time this Saturday on ESPN. Uh, the game's at Lexington. Uh, Kentucky is favored by 2.5 points in this game, and the over and under is at 46.5. So they're kind of predicting a low-scoring type game here which I could really see it playing out that way because usually when Kentucky and Florida step out on the field, it's usually a low-scoring type game, defensive battle. Florida enters this game as the ranked team at number 22 in the country, 3-1 and one on the year. Kentucky unranked at 4-0. and oh. Yet Kentucky is favored in this game, even though they're not even ranked. Maybe it's because it's home field advantage, perhaps, and maybe they have the better record than Florida. But, you know, maybe they um, saw Florida not perform that well this past weekend, and they're probably making Kentucky the favorite here. Uh, Kentucky, they're coming off a win against Vanderbilt 45-28. to Yeah, their offense looked good in that game. Uh, Florida's only coming off a 22-7 to win against Charlotte, so maybe that's the reason why Kentucky is favored. But again, this game's at noon Eastern time, which is very interesting. I thought this would be a night game this year, and it would probably be on the SEC Network, but it seems like it's going to be a noon game now. So Kentucky and Florida, again, a big-time matchup here in the SEC East. Uh, maybe this game, like I said, really probably you know decides who's the second best team in the SEC East behind Georgia. But th I think this is a very important game for both of these teams to kind of see who gets to the um, path and everything to probably make it to the SEC championship game if they want to beat Georgia as well. So again, you know, Kentucky and Florida again. This game's at noon Eastern time on ESPN. Big game here in Lexington and Kentucky favored by two and a half. And I also forgot to mention the FBI. The FBI favors Kentucky at 52% and Florida about 48%. So you can see how close the FBI is with this game. So again, this game's at noon Eastern time on ESPN. Kentucky favored by two and a half. And the over and under is at 46 and a half. So let's now look at the previous game results here for both of these teams. You look at Florida's results. They're coming in with a record of three and one. Uh, they lost to Utah on the road 24 to 11 on August the 31st. That game was on a Thursday night. They bounced back though with a win against McNeese. A big time win there, 49 to seven. And then they played their best game, I believe, of the season against Tennessee on September the 2nd at, or September the 16th at home against Tennessee. Uh, they won 29 to 16 where they, you know, ran the football that well in that game. Graham Mertz probably played his best game as well. And they only coming off a 22 to 7 win this past weekend against Charlotte, which is not a big time win for them. It just seems like, you know, Florida was not focused in that game. And it just seemed like they were focused on Kentucky a week early, uh, you know, in that game against Charlotte. So, I think they're kind of ready for Kentucky this weekend and they were not focused in their game against Charlotte. And then you look at Kentucky, they're coming into this game with a record of 4-0. They defeated Ball State on September the 2nd, 44-14. September the 9th, they had a pretty good dogfight with Eastern Kentucky, 28-17. They defeated Akron, though, 35-3, September the 16th. And then they hit beat, you know, they defeated Vanderbilt last weekend in their first SEC game, 45-28. Uh, so both of these teams have are 1-0 in their conference, and, you know, they have two, you know, great wins to start out the year in the SEC. I think Florida has the better win, though, because they defeated, you know, 11, you know, a, de, you know, defeated a Tennessee team that was ranked, so that's the reason why I think Florida has the better win than Kentucky, and that's the pre, that's really the reason why they're ranked. So, again, these are the previous matchups here. I think, you know, Florida has played their best game already. Uh, that was against Tennessee on September the 2nd. Kentucky, I don't think they have played their best game just yet. I mean, we've seen the defense, you know, really be good this year, but we've seen the offense uh, kind of be inconsistent at times. So I think Kentucky has to play their best game here uh, this upcoming weekend against this Florida team. So these are the previous game results here from both of these teams with Florida and Kentucky. Again, Florida with one loss on the year to Utah, and Kentucky is undefeated. They played a lot of cupcake games to start out the year, and then they took on Vanderbilt this past weekend and won their first SEC game of the year, 45-28. So let's now get to the prediction here for both of these teams. Again, Florida versus Kentucky. This game's on Saturday.
Saturday, a big time game here. And again, Kentucky is favored in this game, even though they're not even ranked. But they, the reason why I think they're even favored is because of home field advantage and also they have the better, better record than Florida. But Florida is going to come into this game with plenty of fight in them. I think this will be a dog fight. I think it kind of like is every every year, like when a game happens like this. It's always a pretty good dog fight between these two teams. And like I said, I think this game kind of decides who the second best team in the East is for right now. I know you got other teams out there that are fighting for that second place spot, but it seems like Tennessee, they have already one loss in the SEC. And it just seems like Kentucky has a really good chance and Florida has a good chance to be um, these these are two teams that have a chance to be the second best team in the East. And, you know, Florida's looking for revenge in this game. Kentucky's looking for their third straight win in a row against this Florida team. Uh, will they do that this upcoming, you know, weekend? That could be the case going into this game. How I think the game's going to go down, I think this is a low-scoring type game. Defensive battle, I think both teams are going to kind of struggle on offense a little bit. Maybe the fourth quarter, though, this game goes into the fourth quarter. I think both offenses start to get going, but... I do like Kentucky in this game. I think, you know, based off of what I saw in the previous results from them, I, I do like Kentucky here to go up with, a, with an upset. So I'm going to go with the upset here. I think this is one of those potential upset alert type games like I just mentioned. And I think Kentucky wins at 21-13. I think their defense holds up. I think they have a better defense than Florida. I know the ranking was a little bit higher for Florida, but I just think Kentucky's offense will get it done as well. And I think this is the game where Kentucky's offense starts to get better. And also, I think Devin Leary is going to have to have a big game in this one. Kentucky is probably going to want to run the football as well. And, you know, maybe Florida can stop that run game of Kentucky. But, you know, it's going to be the passing game of Devin Leary. I think that's going to hurt Florida's chances. But, again, this game will be pretty close. But I, I like Kentucky here to get an upset win. I mean, it's usually one of those upset alert type games. And usually Kentucky pulls off an upset at least once a year, maybe twice a year. It seems like it's kind of like this game right here. So I think if Kentucky wins this game, they're definitely going to be ranked. And obviously, they're going to be ranked in my top 25. I know they're undefeated. They should be ranked in my top 25 right now. But I have to see it, you know, I have to see it, Kentucky play a really good, tough team in order for me to do that. And we'll get that this weekend when they play Florida. But I do like Kentucky here to win it 21-13. That is my official prediction here for this Kentucky versus Florida game. Let me guys know what you think about this game preview slash game prediction. And who do you think wins this game? Uh, give me your final score prediction down in the comments below. Do you think Kentucky wins or do you think Florida wins? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my Lucas Ross Sports Channel.